Promote your brand here at Viral Hip Hop News. Hit me, Sam Ant, at dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com. dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com. Let's go. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I ain't tell you. I don't know about that. I tell you about the Africa Bobana situation. Yeah. You gave us a little bit. Yeah. Now, DJ, I have DJ Red Alert bodyguard a couple of times at that time. Me and DJ Red Alert, we was all right. I, I stopped messing with DJ Red Alert because he took me to an Africa Bobana party. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, yo, bro. I'm gonna tell you this, man. I told everybody this before, man. After my body, yo, we went to we went here. Had a house in, in Atlanta. The house was huge. It had like it had a mansion, it had a, a basement. You know what I'm saying? It like, like a club, a mini club in the basement. You know what type of shit, right? Yo, this nigga had little boys, little Puerto Rican boys, dressed up like Egyptian princesses, serving drinks and fruit, bro, fruits. Mm. Mm. Little Puerto Rican boys. At first, if you first look at me, you think of a girl, you know what I'm saying? Then you see their, their chest is bare. So that, that's a fucking boy. I'm like, oh, what the fuck is going on here? Wow. I go, I, I go say, I, I, I ain't gonna say it was mine, so I don't know this mine. It was young dudes, though, you know what I mean? Right. But I was like, nah, that's too weird, man. I said that from the real. I said, that's too weird. I told real love, I don't I never I, I never come I'm never with you no more, man, because you, you put that post on this shit, dog. What red alert say? Red Alert was like, oh man, he's that serious. And I'm like, nah, I'm good, bro. Yo, I quit. I quit. I left Red Alert. I quit. I'm out, man. Mm. But I'm still working with Shorty Low, too, so I was good. So, all right. I work for DJ Red Alert. I'm going to say, be real clear. I work for DJ Red Alert after my bottle was living in Atlanta. So, um, I met him through a sister, you know what I'm saying? That she, she, had, she had promoted my birthday party in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I had a big birthday party in Atlanta back in the. Um, was his old six. Mm-hmm. So she, she did the birthday party for the African body. Everybody came to the party, right? So I didn't know nothing about the situation, right? I didn't know about, about his weirdness or anything like that. So later on through that time, DJ Red Alert, I already met him for my party. So he was going, he, he needed security to go to a party. The party was at African by the house in Atlanta. Okay. So I really, I can't, I don't know exactly where exactly where he lived exactly in Atlanta. It was like on the outskirts though. It wasn't exactly in Atlanta. Cause like a lot of people say they're from Atlanta, where they be from like Jonesboro, right. um, Decatur, the and yeah. Stone Mountain, all that. And they be, oh, they just stayed from Atlanta because they're like 20, 20, 30 minutes from Atlanta, or whatever. Mm-hmm. So um, we went to the party, whatever. So when I went to that party, the shit I seen in that party was, I, well, I first I walked in, we walked in the house. You know what I'm saying? First, you get, you get greeted. People bring you in, right? Red Alert told me, oh, also, Red Alert told me that whatever you see, you know, just don't pay no attention to, you know what I'm saying? This is the industry. I'm mm. like, I ain't going to say nothing. That's what it is. But I didn't know what I was going to see. Right. It was like, like I said, what I see, I seen Puerto Rican boys dressed up like Egyptian <laughs> princesses. Damn. I don't know how old they was. I, got, I ain't gonna say they, they was young boys, but I don't, I don't believe, I don't know if they're underage or not. But they was young boys, you know what I'm saying? And um, after I seen that, I was like, nah, man. I told him, I, if you, I can't um, be around you like that no more, man, because I don't I don't condone that stuff. So I met after about a cousin, his first cousin. When I moved, I was living in Roanoke, Virginia. And his first cousin, his first cousin is younger than me, but he's old, he's like in his 40s too. He mm-hmm. told me. He told me the story. I was like, yo. So what, you was there that day when I happened at that party in Atlanta? He was like, yo, you was there? I'm like, yeah, bro. He's like, yo, that's why I fell back from my cousin. Mm. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, his cousin's his cousin, man. It, it, a lot of people I met from down south originally is from like New York or New Jersey, you know what I'm saying? And we pretty much intermingle with each other when we out of state, you know what I mean? And how old did they look though? About man. They're like teenage boys, you know what I'm saying? They're like 18, 19, I guess. So, yeah, I was going to ask you about like the Sign Campbell thing. Everybody always joke with him saying, oh, this dude, you know, he was running back for it. He was going back, you know, for it. So was that type of situation? Or you think the band bottles like messing with younger boys? Or was these people that was, even though they teenagers, they minors and whatnot, you think they was with that like that, though? All right. I'm going to tell you something. When you was 13 years old, Hmm. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was 13 years old. I was about, about six, three, six, four, about 6'3, 6'4. <laughs> right. 
Hassan Campbell said, he said in a story when he was 13, how he ran up on um, Queen Latifah and robbed them when they rode through Bronx. You 13 year old robber people, but you let a man tickle your fancy? <laughs> 